Hebrews chapter 6 verses 11 and 12 And we desire that each of you show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end verse 12 that you do not become sluggish but imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promises uh, the writer of Hebrews uses the word sluggish. He says, you do not, just make sure that you do not become sluggish, but imitate those who through faith and patience uh, inherited the promises. The word sluggish means dull or lazy, uh, slothful, and uh, especially slothful, it means that we become dull, monotonous, unexciting, and uh, maybe something has lost its, it refers to something uh, which has lost its speed and momentum. Um, something that is not moving with that velocity which it used to move and uh, something that has lost the passion which once was there and the aggressiveness which was there. So all that pace and passion and uh, aggressiveness and velocity uh, which is now lost, which is now reduced. So that's the picture that we have. So, um, so the writer is saying, don't become that. You know, you once were passionate, uh, you once were uh, uh, aggressive, and uh, uh, so what has happened to that? You know, why has it gone down? Uh, why have you allowed that to happen in your life? It's like a candle that was once which was bright and now which is dim and it's just flickering and the flame is about to go out and it, and and the writer of hebrews saying you know don't do that uh, you be watchful so this idea of someone who was once zealous once passionate but now something has happened and that person maybe allowed something into his or her life and all that zeal and passion has gone down and maybe it's not there not even there and the writer of hebrews saying you know he doesn't want us, God doesn't want us to live such a life. He wants us to live a life of purpose. He wants us to live a life that's uh, with patience and faith so that we can move into the purposes of God, we can move into the promises of God. Right? So let our faith be stirred up even as we evaluate our lives. You know, consider that lack of momentum, consider that lack of passion or uh, um, you know, that desire. Uh, how did that happen? Uh, was there an open door? Was there a sin that we tolerated? Was there some kind of compromise that we made because of which this whole thing, this fire seems to be dying? So do not tolerate that. Consider that to be totally unacceptable. And then the second thing is to get back on track again. Right? So let our faith be stirred up. Let there be diligi diligence what we see in verse 11, that, that we will be diligent and we will show the same diligence till the end. So it's a good time to evaluate and make a U-turn. It's a good time to make course correction and say, uh, I need change and I, do, I need uh, to refire. I need that passion again. So let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word reminds us that we should not become sluggish. Your word reminds us that um, whatever has caused that uh, loss of momentum and passion and desire, uh, oh God, that we need to deal with it, God. And so God, today, Holy Spirit, we pray that you would deal with that. We pray that you would remove what needs to be removed, that you would fuel that passion again so that we would run the race with endurance, oh God. That we would show that same diligence and fervor that we had in the beginning till the end of our lives. And we pray that you would cause us, Lord, to live such a life. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.